Okay, let's talk about an accidental explosion, for example, caused by the release of a flammable uh, gas into the atmosphere. When ignited, causes a blast wave to impact surrounding structure and buildings. First of all, let's be clear about this, that these are rare events with a, a low probability but with very high consequences. So it's still regarded as a relatively high risk event. I think being able to predict the damage and injury caused by uh, a large explosion is of vital importance to industries that uh, process and transport hazardous substances all around the world, like oil and gas. I think if you can predict the consequences with reasonable accuracy and certainty, then you're in a, a better position to plan for such an event, should it ever occur, and to put in measures that will protect your work, workforce and uh, the equipment and plant. Thankfully, they don't happen very often, these uh, large explosions. But when they do happen, it can have devastating uh, consequences. And it affects a lot of people. Take, for example, the uh, Gulf of Mexico BP blowout. And also, more, more recently, uh, in, in August this year, there was uh, some very large explosions in the port of Tianjin in China. Uh, loss of life, significant loss of life in both these events, but also a huge impact on the economy as well. Of course, loss of life is, is devastating and uh, what value can we put on life? Some, some do, but I think uh, there is a, a, a need to uh, improve safety all the time. A lot of research has been done in the past and we, we're learning from, from past uh, events and uh, advancing our understanding of uh, extreme loading events is crucial. Also, the development of new novel materials is helping to make structures more blast resistant. However, I would say, in my opinion, that the, the biggest danger in all of this is actually complacency. And we need to be more aware, we need to make uh, the general public and uh, and, and industry much more aware of these uh, significant uh, hazards. It, it, it affects the environment. We have a, an infrastructure and an environment which is fragile and, and these large explosions uh, does have quite a, 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 an effect on a fragile and uh, infrastructure and environment. So we have learned a lot and as I said there's always room for improvement but I'll repeat that, that complacency is our biggest danger. There's always room for improvement in safety.